It would be a crime for an unqualified doctor to commit a surgery on your body. But what if that is happening to you right now only with financial advice? Why are you allowing that to happen? Imagine a doctor sitting down with you and giving you advice and you finding out later that his degree is non-existent. How will society allow this? They don't. They will check up on this and they will make sure that this will not happen with you. But this is happening right now with your financial health in mind. I vividly recall a time when I was in your shoes. I also went to unqualified doctors to ask for advice. I was only so young and I thought at that time I should go to some elder people in my network and my family to ask them how to invest my hard-earned savings. So I went out and seeked people and they told me what they thought was right. And I ended up losing money and also they lost money because they followed their, their own unqualified advice as well. And that is when I realized that I should not blame them because they were just trying to help me. When somebody comes to you and asks you for help, often you just want to do the right thing and give them your support. And that's what happened with me. People just supported me without realizing that they were not in a position to support me properly. So I blamed myself. I realized that I should only get financial advice from really qualified and experienced people. I saw a way forward. I had two options. The first option was that I would find people in my network that were willing to share their secrets about investing, their knowledge, their experience, so that I myself could benefit from that as well. The second option was to become a financial powerhouse myself in investing, that I would have the experience and knowledge about it and that I don't have to seek others advice anymore. But the second option will take a lot of time. It will take decades to build that up properly. And that is something that I kept in mind as well. The first option is to come across people that will share with me their secrets about investment, their experience and knowledge. But what is in it for them? Why would they do that? I realized that that would not be an easy task to get people to share with me and to be open and, and basically that I can trust. So uh, I knew it would take time and I knew that I need to have some luck as well to find those people. So I went into the endeavor in finding them over the years and I did find people that I can rely on and that I can trust and will share valuable information with me and I'm very grateful for that. But I also found out that so-called experts in the field or people that are in the investment world that are considered having a very strong position, they themselves sometimes often don't know much about investments themselves, but they are not willing to be exposed so they keep things to themselves so that they so that other people will not see that they actually have a lack of knowledge in the field that they operate. That is also something that I discovered. I understood that becoming a financial powerhouse myself will take a very long time, but I decided anyway to start that journey. Now, a decade later, I made a lot of progress. I am very far away from where I started a decade ago. Okay, I'm not Warren Buffett or Ray Dalio, but I can say that I definitely gained a lot of knowledge and experience myself. And I'm very proud of that. And I know that in the coming decades, this will only grow further and further. When you seek adv financial advice from others, and you do that with an unqualified person, you are risking two major things. The first one is, of course, you are risking to lose your heart and money. That is the first thing that you can lose. The second thing what can happen is that you can destroy the relationship that you have with that person. 
because when you lose money, you will blame them directly or indirectly. And that can be hurting the relationship that you have with that person. Ideally, you will become your own powerhouse yourself. But let's be realistic. Can you spend decades compounding your knowledge, building it up on something that is maybe not your job? How realistic will it be that you will become then a financial investment powerhouse yourself? And let's look at the other option. Will you, do you want to rely on luck and chance that you will meet people that will share their secrets about investments with you? What is in it for them? What is the chance that you will meet good people like that? I am offering you to seek advice from me. Why am I saying that? I have built up my own financial powerhouse. I'm not saying that I am at the level that I can say that I reached the top yet, but I definitely made a lot of progress, which I can share with you. And also, I have gained a network of trusted people that I got advice from, which I can also potentially introduce you to. So if you want to discover more, schedule a meeting with me. My name is Simon Snouder. Goodbye.